Yo, <laughs> I hope you're having a great day, guys, because earlier today I picked up this Amiga 1200 and I, when I picked it up, it was close by and I um, visited one of my friends. We had a great day today, together today and I filmed this <laughs> pickup and told the story. I just got home, so the filmed stuff earlier today, you're gonna look at it in a second, guys. But I just got home, I just wanna film this while I'm checking this Amiga, because with this Amiga, I got this one. It's called Trap 1200 for the trapdoor on the Amiga 1200 Revision B. You're gonna see everything on the video. Just wait a second, guys. We got a 68020 CPU up there. We got a battery, non-leaking battery. It, it has not leaked. And we got a socket for the FPU upgrade. And it's the revision B. And we got what we think is eight megabytes of RAM. That's nice. And we got this box with a with this RAM bank made in Denmark and my friend thinks it's a 16 megabyte. We're gonna plug this one in and see what's gonna happen. And inside this box, we also found a uh, Blizzard uh, MK4 accelerator card. We're gonna plug that one in and see if that works. And in this box, we have this something. Oh, nice! We got this Zoom Post Domain from Grimlin. Nice, nice, nice stuff! So, let's power this one on together. Let's see if it's dead or if it works. But before we do anything, I'm just gonna open and make a visual inspection of the... What are they called? Visual inspection of the of the capacitors, guys. Caps. Now I must say, I have had zero capacitor issues with my Amiga 1200s. Zero. But Amiga 600s. Oh my God! I mean, nine out of ten I have bought and checked. They smell like fish and they don't work and of my knowledge every and I mean every Amiga 600 today should be recapped every one of them because I have had so much trouble with them but these 1200s they're uh, they haven't given me any headache but I mean it's probably the same stuff guys so it's it's probably a good idea to recap this one also. Now this one was bought in 94 and was used to 96. And after that, it was just held on storage. Yeah, oh, come on. There we go. A bit dirt here. <laughs> well, let's... 25 years old. Oh, we got a hard disk inside. Nice stuff. Let's just pull off this one. Let's pull off this one. Let's remove these. Because uh, the keyboard is not necessary when you want to check an Amiga. All right, so inside we got a hard disk. Look at this, guys. Nice. Yeah. Don't know how many megabyte do we have? Newer Kickstart? No, it's 3.1. That's all right. And the caps, I can see the caps from here, but not every one of them. <laughs> so I must take off the shield, uh, remove the shield. I think I will just fast forward the video because it's not fun to just watch me turn in some screws so give me a second guys all right thank you for waiting <laughs> the rf shielding is off now as you can see we got kickstart 
uh, 3.0. The motherboard is Channel Z Amiga 1200 Revision 1D.4. And well, when I say uh, visual inspection, I mean, you can look at these capacitors. Um, usually, usually, if they have leaked. Now, I have had no trouble with the 1200s. And I, and I have looked at so many last year. Now, these, they can pop at the top. These, they can leak under here. You will see. Also, look at the pads. They are all, um, you know, silver-like. And when they leak, they will be much more grayish. And but still, you can't be sure because the worst thing about these SMDs that I just hate—not <laughs> hate. I have not hate in me, but you know what I mean. The most irritating stuff is this one can um, be uh, have been maybe they have been leaked in under these and you can't see it before you have removed it then you can see it's all you know torn apart i mean um, sometimes it just destroys the traces and all that but something like this with rust on it or dirt yeah it's not a good sign i, I always like when the rf shielding is just bright you know but um, again this is just a visual inspection and as you can see it's all silver like and all that and this one has to be missing here that's that's normal guys so this one just needs some cleanup and as i can see i will not be worried about giving this amiga 1200 some power again they can have some battery juice or uh, some acid or what what it leaks i don't know i don't care what's it called but the, but the visual on the top it looks all right so let's just plug this one on give it some power and see if it works. all right i just turned on the amiga 1200 with the built-in two and a half inch hard disk it spins up we just got a black screen but i can hear the hard disk spinning i don't know if the camera can pick it up and it loads we got a picture guys I did nothing to it so we got a picture and it loads now this one had the um, the O20 accelerator card inserted so I'm not gonna do anything as it is right now because oh the survivor how's the camera set let's this or just a tad closer like this all right we got the survivor here um, guys it boots up we're gonna test uh, we have picture we're just gonna test the sound also left and right uh, stereo channel so um, I'm just gonna turn it off I'm gonna insert this card that was inserted from when I got it with we think it's an 8 megabyte RAM so Two second guys <laughs> all right i just inserted the 68020 25 megahertz and probably eight megabytes of fast run so i'm just gonna see if that card boots up yes nice oh, let's see if that card works now yeah we got four megabytes of RAM on uh, this card. Now the cool part would be if we, yeah, uh, we got two megs of chip RAM. We got four megs of fast RAM on this Amiga. Whoa, what, why is it like that? Let's just turn it just a tad. Yeah, so we have a lot of icons down here. What's this? And we have Dear Opus 5. We have a lot of stuff, guys. Um, work, uh, video, multimedia. Yeah, how do I go back like this? Yeah, video, background.
Hunters. Alien Warfare. Area scan. Isn't it possible to view? Here, maybe? No. Could be cool to watch some pictures, man. Bad 5, that must be Babylon 5. Oh, yes it was. Why didn't this one work? Hmm. Let's look at the brain here. <laughs> yeah! Put a brain in the White House. <laughs> Sometimes you can see uh, something from the demo scene and these old hard drives, they're just so amazing and fun to look through. They're just so a prodigy, of course. I mean, product of the 90s. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Let's quit the opus. There we go. It could be fun to find, uh, what's it called? Something so I can check the speed of this um, accelerator card. Clean up. No fastman. No. Tools. Show config. Wait, what's this? Oh, 20. This one doesn't sh show how many megahertz, but we have, yeah, four mix of chip RAM and two mix of fast RAM. I love that this card works. It just needs to have, you know, at least. <laughs> at least eight megabyte of fast RAM. That's just a must to be playing these old WSD load games with the preload on. We got Magic Workbench, we got ComproNet, something for the internet back in the 90s. Tools, maybe we have something there. Let's see guys. We have to clean this one up. We got Duopus 5, Xcopy, New Zap, I day. Deep degrade. Um, I have no idea. Chem balance CDB file finder. No, I can't see anything that says sysinfo development blitz sc. I have no idea. I mean, find right. Some of you guys that know how to copy all this content from the hard disk and put it online, it could be cool to, you know, save all this old stuff, guys, from the 90s. Pro Tracker Wave, oh, just tell me there are some modules. Ah, oh, I love this mod 1995 Ravas Remix, Alien B2, Another World, maybe, I don't know, but these old mod files, Desert Dream, I know that one. Love this. I mean, yeah, I have found out how to put in a compact PCMCA to compact flashcard reader on the site. I have found out how to do that. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna copy all these files. <laughs> but I would love to share this stuff with you guys, have it online. That could be so cool. Wave files. I mean, all the stuff from the 90s, they're just great, man. Yeah, we have so much stuff, but it seems like... Oh, nice. It seems like sysinfo is not in here. Call, con, to, frontal, assault, the setters, colonization, oh, skit, too old, g power thing, pimpa, do. Start dust. I mean, Canon Photo Two. This is probably before. Um, this is this is probably installed games <laughs> way before um, WHD load. So under text we have film, maybe jokes, Armageddon, civilization. Maybe these are cheat codes or you know something from the manual. 
don't know, under text we have multimedia, MM400. Uh, DF0 now does this, that's because I took, uh, I haven't installed the DF, uh, the, the, the disk drive. That's nice. I just want to install the, what was the next card that was included? We have, we have this card, this one, uh, this Blizzard card, it was included also. But I have found out that um, there was some RAM also. I have uh, this one. Um, okay, it's dark now. But the way you solder these RAM blocks, if it's you can actually count how many of the solder joints there are. I mean, uh, this RAM block has lesser than this one, so this is a bigger RAM block. So I'm just gonna put this one in here and put it in the Amiga and turn it on and I hope we have more than 4 megabytes of chip RAM. <laughs> uh, fast RAM of course. <laughs> Alright, I just installed the Blizzard card. I put in that other RAM block and... Oh, what was that? Oh, nice! 64 megabytes of RAM! <laughs> and the one that was included, I can see it, it says it says 16 megabyte so this uh, com this one was it, it had 16 megabyte installed but it had this 64 megs of fast ram included that's just perfect and now the last thing i want to check I, I love that both accelerator cards they just boot up but wait in a second i will cut to the video earlier today and you can see how I got this Amiga. It's actually a fun story, guys. So let's see, let's see what should start. Let's start conversation, guys, from Macropose. We got some. That's just perfect. All right, guys, I'm gonna skip this one over to the. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful computer. I love the Amiga 1200. It's just, it's so magical. I love this computer, guys. So, and actually this card that runs 25, 28 megahertz with, I'm, I'm just trying to install some more RAM. This card is actually perfect for WHD load gaming, but of course this is just a, a tad better, guys. But um, yeah, I'm gonna skip over to the video filmed earlier today and you're gonna see <laughs> how I got this one. It's just great to see that everything works okay. Now I haven't done any in-depth testing yet because uh, you can just test just like this. I mean, you have to stress everything and try some different stuff, but you know, just a... Uh, just a fast try of the new hardware from today. It seems to be all right. So check out the rest of the video. <laughs> Do they? Hi guys, Retro Django here. I just saw an Amiga 500 um, on our Craigslist and I checked it out. It just said Amiga 500. It had a picture about here like this and a picture of this one. So I was really interested in, in this joystick, Joy Flight Pad or what's it called. Uh, look, looks great. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to checking it out. But, so uh, this one was really, really close to where I live. And it, it was on the app for only 500 Danish crowners. That's like, for my favorite yeah, under 100 euro, guys. So I saw this one and I, I, I just thought it was an Amiga 500 and I took the chance. But um, to my big surprise, it was an Amiga 1200. Now, it's not the most beautiful one, as you can see, but uh, I picked it up for peanuts and there were so many discs and um, all sort of stuff, including uh, uh, different joysticks and yeah, but at, I'm at my friend's place that he also uh, loves everything with Amiga and all that and then um, he was checking this uh, Zool 2 out 
Er det ikke rigtigt? <laughs> ja. Uh, and um, we opened it, and inside the box, there were this um, ram block, and under that, look at this, guys. There were a, a but a blizzard there. There was a blizzard accelerator card, real nice. And we just opened the back side of this Amiga 1200. And it has got a uh, memory expansion from um, it, from MTech. What uh, It's a 28 megahertz uh, accelerator card for the Amiga 1200. Let me see where's the the CPU is down here. That's nice, and according to my friend, it should have RAM on the. Me man can be here and here upon the safe mode. It should have RAM on the other side. Two second, guys. Safe mode. Not yeah. really. <laughs> there you go. Oh yes, and it has. Can you see what's there? Eight. Eight megabytes. Yeah, eight megabytes. Okay. So we got eight megs of RAM on this one. Real nice, and the other Blizzard card for uh, under 100 euro. Isn't that great, guys? So I just want to share this one with you, with you guys. And also over here, I got this. Um, I got this Amiga 3000. Look at this one, and this one has. As you can see, it's got cooling holes up there. This one has got a motherboard that has got a lot of um, battery juice on it. And I just, uh, I took a picture of that one, uploaded on my YouTube, on my Facebook uh, page, Commodore 64-Amiga Retro Jango. And one of you guys said that you had this motherboard that, you, that I could get as a donation. Look at this, it has, got some battery juice but according to him for about 15 years ago this car should work so my friend here he's a genius he has got all the right tools and he knows what he's doing so I hope he's gonna take all the chips from this one and put it over here and do his magic <laughs> yeah we hope so <laughs> and uh, we hope that that Amiga 3000 is gonna work so um, Thank you for watching guys, have a wonderful, wonderful day and until next time, check out some of my other videos. Bye!